we're here today to talk a little bit about the launch of uh, at Mali T658. This is the new Midgard GPU from ARM and it's uh, the successor to uh, Mali T604 which we announced last year. It's a 8 core 64 bit GPU designed uh, in mind with the ARM compute systems in mind with big little and with the full coherency uh, implementation. And I'd like to hand over to Jem here to talk about how that's going to work. So the Mali T658 is scalable up from 1 to 8 cores, whereas the T604 was scalable from 1 to 4. So we've doubled the graphics processing capability there. In addition to that, we've actually doubled the number of arithmetic pipelines per core. So with four arithmetic pipelines per core, uh, that's a grand total of 32 arithmetic pipelines in an 8-core T658. And that's perfectly designed to match the computational requirements that we see from the new requirements of GPU computing, or GPGPU as some people call it. So T658 is introduced this week and we're expecting to see it in products at the end of 2012, early 2013. So this is the typical IP delivery timescale that we see with our products. T658 is designed as part of the ARM compute subsystem and you can see how the story that we've been building since we launched T604 in 2010 is now coming to be much more visible to the outside world. Inside ARM we've known about the drive towards the interconnectedness of our IP and to deliver compute systems into the SOC environment for a long time. But now it's becoming more visible. You know, three weeks ago we allow, announced uh, Big Little in terms of Cortex-A15 and Cortex-A7 being interconnected using CCI 400s for a coherent interconnect. And with T658 we can see how the coherent bus extends from the Big Little architecture into the GPU to provide you a GPU compute system. One of the things that's most important about uh, heterogeneous computing is the ability to perform the processing in the right place. The right place for capability and performance and also the right place for efficiency in terms of energy efficiency. So what, one of the ways in which we make that easier is to offload work from the CPU off to a GPU. And the cache coherent interconnect is a really important part of that because it enables us to offload the work from one to the other in an efficient fashion without having to clean the caches and without incurring the, the energy overhead of all of that. So what kind of products is it going to be in? Well, uh, high-end smartphones, uh, certainly, um, and increasingly, of course, the graphical requirements on high-end digital TVs and home entertainment equipment, uh, are th those are both target markets. And increasingly, you're going to see a whole bunch of new use cases appearing uh, for this GPU computing, as well as the incredible step-up in performance that in graphics capabilities that we're providing. We're talking about a device here that, uh, in, in normal frequencies, uh, is going to have over 250 gigaflops of, of compute capability and it's not so long ago that that would have been considered a supercomputer. So you'll see we're giving people in their hands in a portable battery powered device uh, an amazing capability and the sky's the limit. Do you say something about numbers of triangles per second or stuff like that or is it going to be in home consoles? Uh, Could it basically be that? It could be in home consoles. It's not a big target market for us. Um, the console market tends to be very specialised. It's not so much that it's a higher performance uh, point than we can hit because we can hit those performance levels. Uh, but we're, we're more interested in, uh, in, in other markets. There are specialist uh, aim. Can you say something about the performance between 604 and 658? Um, uh, anything from double the performance up to four times the performance. Nice. 